Hi guys, a long time no see. I am so sorry. I feel like I start every video with me apologizing for having been gone for so long. So I'm not even just gonna go there. Just know that my posting schedule is not. We'll leave it at that. Anyway, I was tagged a month ago, yes, a whole month ago, by my friend Lady B, a lady from Boston, I think she is on Instagram, um, but she tagged me and asked me to do the Luxury Addict tag for 2016, and I have to say, while I was traveling to my country, I was watching these videos when I was there, when I had internet when I was there, I was watching these videos, uh, and I'm back now, and I'm finally like caught up with my jet lag and caught up with, well, I'm not caught up with work, but anyway, I'm in a spot where I feel like I can do a video, so here we go. I printed the questions out because I'm forgetful, so. Uh, what was your first designer piece? I think, <laughs> I think it was this. Um, and this is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Accessoire in um, monogram print, and I've had this probably, I don't know, I think I bought it in 2004, it was after we moved, so it could only have been 2004. Um, wait, then it's not my first piece. <laughs> it's not, hold on. Now this will let you know how old this piece is. Um, look, look at the dust bag. Yes. <laughs> this was my first piece once we moved uh, to where we currently live. This was my first piece ever because I had this when I was still in grad school. Wow. I think I've had this. It's no longer in production. It's a... What is this? A Venice PM in the Damier print. Uh, it looks like the sac plat, sac plat, whatever, but it's not. And the GM version of this was in a movie, um, uh, Jennifer Lopez movie, where she's a wedding planner. She carried one of these. Um, but yeah, so I've had this bag for 13 years. I think it's in excellent condition. And I do carry it, so yes. Um, next question. What do you consider your best investment item? Um, that one is very, very easy. I took it to mean that investment item meant uh, should I need some money in my pocket quickly, I can sell it and make my money back. So I'm going to go with the Chanel wallet on a chain, caviar leather with gold hardware. I bought this right before a price increase, so I got it for a good price, and I've been offered by friends and by resale websites, I've been offered slightly more than what I paid for it, so that's why I consider this a good investment piece. <laughs> um, none of my bags have held their value the way that one has. What is your criteria when looking to buy an item? Basically, I just want to buy whatever catches my eye. So if there's something out there that catches my eye, then I'll, I want to buy it. Uh, but really, criteria, I try to fill in slots. So uh, if I need a shoulder bag, then I'll look for a shoulder bag. Um, with this here, I realized I bought some really cute silver shoes for nighttime wear. And I didn't have a handbag that had silver hardware, so I was having a hard time wearing those shoes and matching it. So I knew I needed a bag that had uh, silver hardware, and I saw this one day, and it perfectly met that criteria. So, yes. Um, what has been your most regrettable purchase? My most regrettable purchase? Um, I think it's a bag that I already sold so I don't really think about it. Um, but I had a Louis Vuitton Papillon, so the round like tube bag. It was a 2008 watercolor print. It was a chocolate brown one. And really, I had wanted the watercolor white, speedy, and size 35, and I could never find it. And the resale price for those bags is so high and has stayed so consistently high. Uh, so I couldn't afford the bag. Uh, I just couldn't. 
Um, but I saw one of those, the brown ones, and I bought it thinking it would satisfy that itch. And I hate to say it never did. I hardly ever carried that bag. Every time I looked at it, I thought of the white bag. And so eventually I just got tired of it and I sold it at a loss. But, you know, it was a lesson learned. If there's a particular bag that I want, then just hold out for the bag. Don't try to buy something else thinking it's going to make you, you know, forget about the other bag. It doesn't. In my experience, you still end up buying the other bag. So, yeah. Okay. Um, if you sold any of your luxury goods, have you ever had seller's regret? Uh, only once. It was a Louis Vuitton monogram ellipse purse. And I think at that point I was just tired of the monogram print. It was the only one I ever had um, um, at that time. I'm not really a big fan of the monogram print, although I do have some. And so I sold it and I, I regretted it because I loved the shape of the bag. And I've always, you know, when I see it, I go, oh, that bag. Or when I see it um, on sale on the resale websites, I actually think, oh, that bag. But I think truly what makes me regret selling it was I got totally ripped off. Instead of selling it online, I sold it at a uh, local consignment store and I literally got less than 30% of the price they sold it for, which to me felt like a ripoff. I, I, yeah, it felt like a ripoff. And so that's why I've regretted selling that bag. If I'd known it was going to sell for that little, I would have just kept it, really. Um, let's see. What is a piece you think everyone needs and should have? That's easy. Uh, a speedy. I only have one. I had two. I had the same speedy dummy print in a size 30. This is the Azure print in a size 25. Um, I think it's the easiest classic bag. Makes you look chic regardless of the print. Just throw in a speedy and you look like you have. To me, it's like, oh, she's carrying a speedy. It just has, it, it really just gives me that old uh, Audrey Hepburn, casual, chic look, regardless, except if you're dressed like a total slob. Sorry, I have an issue with that, but anyway. Um, what is a piece you think is overhyped? I think the Chanel classic flat bag is overhyped. Stop it, Chanel, with your price increases and all that nonsense. Stop it. Do I want one? Yes. Would I like to get one? Yes. If you want to send me one, go ahead. But do I think it's overhyped? Yes. Doesn't stop me from wanting one. And what is next on your wish list? Um, next for me, really, I'm not sure. I've seen the Chanel, um, I think it's called like Rock on a Chain or Rock Steady or something bag, which looks like a flat bag, which I want because it's less than a flat bag. Um, yeah. I have a ceiling for how much I'm willing to spend if it's not obvious. Um, but that's on my list. And also I've seen a Louis Vuitton, uh, I think it's called Croissette. It's a small uh, crossbody Damier Azure print bag. Um, I, I would like one of those. I, I do. I've put it out in the universe and, you know, before the end of the year. Um, but yeah, so that is my luxury attic tag. I know I'm probably the last person to do this video, so I will not bother to tag anyone individually because the people I would have tagged have already done this video. Um, if you haven't, you know, would love to see what new things you're going to add. I love tag videos because you just get to know more about uh, our community here, our, you know, luxury attic community here. So it's always fun for me uh, to watch these videos. Thanks so much for watching.